Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Q Queer here, also known as Aaron. My pronouns are they, them, and this is my first actual video on YouTube. That's not a slideshow made in Microsoft Office, you know? So for this first video, I decided to do something different, of course, because every good drag artist needs a transformation video or two on their channel, along with some DIYs, but other stuff that is coming up very soon. So before we get into it, I want you to like and subscribe. Okay, that was that was so fucking fake. I I can't even. So <laughs> so like and subscribe, and let's get into it. So for this look, I decided to do Venus, which is not just a Lady Gaga song, which I love and I would die for, but also a mythological woman who is the goddess of love. So I wanted to do Venus look. And, but I wanted to make it grunge, and it was mainly inspired by the Venus palettes by Lime Crime. I have Venus 1 and 2. I'm going to be using Venus 2 today. It is so beautiful. It is grungy and delicious, and I love it. And I, I, it's going to be mustardy and brown. If you see my Eve look, it's going to be very similar to that, but only grungier and messier. Same contour, different lip color. Same eyebrows. It's just gonna be elegant, but grungy at the same time. You know? You know what I'm saying? So, what I'm first going to do is that I'm going to apply my wig. I've never really seen any drag artists really do this, but I'm just gonna try something else. So, I'm going to apply my wig first before I get into the makeup. Today's wig is from Amazon. I mean, I'm, I'm a poor bitch. What do you expect? It's a um, $40 lace front silky wig. It's already tangled oh my lord and it has a lace front with a frontal which has a part in it and so I'm going to get into it off camera I'm going to tie my hair up into two parts and I'm going to put two wig caps on if I can and then put the wig on and secure it with spirit gum okay see you soon oh here we are guys I have the wig on you can see that it's so it's not blended I may have Still made it a little too tight, so I, I'm a bit like, uh. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do next, I can't really do this, like, I can't really squint, it's a little weird, but whatever, it's going, it's my first time wearing a lace front, so whatever. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna take some Elmer's glue and I'm gonna glue down my brows. Now I shaved off half of my brows for two reasons. One, it looks cool as fuck, and two, it's easier to do drag, so I'm gonna glue down my eyebrows. I have a mirror right here, so this is where I'm, if I disappear off screen, you know where I am. Now that I've pretty much coated my brows in glue, I'm gonna take a comb. This is a dirty ass dollar store comb. I'm gonna brush, I'm gonna go straight up. You see that? Straight up. And then after I brush them up, I coat them with another coat of glue. That. Also a good thing to have on hand is makeup wipes. Like a makeup wipe just here. I have some Target ones from our Lord and Savior Target. They're cheap, they don't have alcohol in them, so they're pretty good for purposes such as cleaning glue off your hands, cleaning up around your brows. Yeah, because so when I do my drag, my eyes and brows are going to be up here, and that's why I cover them up. So I'm just going to do a little more of that. How many coats do I do? Uh, until I'm satisfied. Well, you know, it is 9.39 at night, so I may, I'm, I have energy, so I may do more than I need to. Also, can you see how this, this wig is really small? It's pretty small. It does not fit my head. The other one I got fits my head perfectly, but this one doesn't, so we're going to have to deal, we're going to have to disguise it a little bit. Like, I don't care if the glue dry, doesn't dry between each of the things, so you know that they're done when they feel pretty smooth to the touch. Now I just gotta wait for them to dry. While we wait for those bad boys to dry, we are going to prime our face because a canvas needs a base in it. So I'm gonna use my e.l.f. putty primer. It's like $8 at Target. It's it's like really good. And now I can rub my face on my face and I can feel all the pimples and it's a lovely, lovely, lovely feeling. You want it everywhere. You forehead. Don't get it on the lace. Now that these, these are nearly dry. They're pretty. You 
you do that and it feels pretty smooth. So, so while we're on it, let's move on to foundation. Now, I used to use e.l.f. Flawless Satin Foundation in the shade Pearl, but when I, I ran out of it, I almost ran out of it, and so I got a new one in the shade Light Ivory because I didn't have Pearl, and I haven't tried it, but this was a medium coverage foundation, and it was okay, and I didn't want to spend $30 on Krylon, which all the drag artists swear by. Ooh, this is itchy. So I have, it's in a glass pop this is Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 in the shade 00BB, which is Nude. And it's a little yellow, but I don't care, but it's, it has a nice pump. And it's so full covered. It's so full covered. So I have a beauty blender, and I just go... Like, quite a few pumps, actually. Like, nice big smears here, down my nose. Ooh. You gotta look a little crazy before we can start looking beautiful. That blends quicker than I thought. I need to get the neck. Uh, now, if I were doing boy drag, I would take this all the way down my neck because I do contouring on my neck. But I'm not. I'm not doing boy drag today. Not. Th I'm not on tonight. Not on nine forty-seven at night. <laughs> wow, that was not funny. Okay, that looks pretty blended. Wipe my fingers off because I get foundation. Ooh, look how shiny that bitch is. Now, I I need to highlight bright points of my face. So for that, I use a Mayron, a very busted Mayron makeup cream blend makeup stick in white, I assume that's what it's called. And I just do a little swirl on my finger. Boop, 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 boop. All the way up there and I just get it in there. Should I do the nose now? I don't usually do the nose. The nose contour is something in and of itself. And then I take, I have a separate beauty line, which is this one. And I just blend it very lightly. Or sometimes I just use, if I'm feeling adventurous, I'll just use my regular other beauty blender. I think I'll do that too. I'll take this guy again and blend it out. So now we're blended out a bit. Boop, boop. <laughs> we will move on to Powdering. But for drag, I do not. <laughs> Here it is. I use Elf, the HD powder. It's a very. It looks white. It looks white as a ghost. But it's actually translucent. See, it's really cool. And for that, I, if I'm doing an all white base, I will use a, pop, the, a powder puff. But when not, I'm gonna use this brush, which has, which I use for my daily makeup. So, hmm, real far. That looks almost normal. You know. I mean, aside from my epic sideburns. Base done. Now we move on to contouring, which is very fun. So, clean off the hands. So, I use for my contour drag or no drag. I always use butter bronzer. I have a mini one. I need to find a better bronzer. I need to find a new bronzer. Because this guy, they test on animals, and I'm not for that. So how I get my contour so sharp, you're asking? Well, I use this. This is a card that Fredonia gave me, because it has my student ID on it for Fredonia, but I guess it doesn't matter because I'm, I'm, I'm over here in New York City. I'm clearly not there, and I use it for my contouring. I think I use this idea. So I, what I do, I load up my brush, and I line it from here to here, and I just go to fucking town, man. I use, I like to keep it a little bit darker over here, and just like, and there we go, there we go, we got snapped contour. Now we just gotta do it on the other side, Ugh. getting it to match is very difficult. Okay, there we go, I do, under the chin, the bootstrap. Oh, I look very scary today, I mean, how long is coming out? So, now we have that. And what I do is that I take some of this Mayron and, I'm sorry, ugh, then an, a brush like this, and I just, I go under to make it extra chiseled and extra sharp. So, uh, blend it out, blend it out on the edge. See, look, that versus that. I mean, both look awful, so what am I talking about? Let's move on to the nose contour. For nose contour, 
I use, I don't use the, the, I don't actually use the bronzer. I use an eyeshadow from ye old James Charles palette. Now this is pretty much my drag palette. Look at this bitch. I mean, there's a saying that if a, if a drag artist's makeup is clean, they're not doing their job right. Bitch, look at this. I've hit pan on maybe nine shades. Look at that. And I am, I'm, I'm not stopping. There's no stopping me. Okay, that was really scary. So I use this little rounded brush and this shadow right here. I don't know its name. Don't stop pestering me about it. So I just start up here. I start up at the nose that's right up here on both sides. And then I just take it and I angle it. If it were a man, if it were a guy drag, it would go straight down. But no, for this super soft and feminine wag, we're going, we're going, we're going down. I'm yelling, Timber, you better move, you better dance. I, I don't know, I just play around until it gets to the desired shape that I like. And then I add a little dot, a little shadow dot on the center. Okay, that looks sufficient enough. Then I take this brush, this liner brush, and some more white, and I do a very specific shape. There we go, that's the shape I wanted, ish. That's ish, the shape I wanted. Go on the nose. That's actually pretty low, though. Now I like a little tappy tappy. Then, this is where I will set it with a white shadow. When, I, when Taco comes in the mail from Sugar Pill, I will use that. But for now, I use the white shadow in the James Charles palette. It's pretty good. Now, what we, how I do my brows. We're moving on. Oh, oh shit, I forgot my blush. <laughs> so for blush today, I this is going to be my drag palette very soon. I have a highlighter. I should have blush. So that's the blush I'm going to use. It's from the, it's from, a, it's a Tarte blush. That looks lovely. I love that. Okay, now for brows. I'll use this again. I use this shit for everything. It's ridiculous. And it's what I saw Crystal Method use it, and that's why I bought it. So and then I will make a map. I will shape it. Something like that. It will be a nice, decent, decent. <laughs> it will be a nice brow. It needs to line up from where my nose contour is. It will go up following my natural brow, and then it will curve down a bit, like maybe that, like that. Like that looks like a natural brow, doesn't it? I think it does. Let's let's do it on the other side. This brush I use for my dry brows because it's cleaner, and yeah, well, I guess I'll use these two. I'll use a combination of these two. I'll use this green, you know, map out the brow. There we go, that looks like a nice brow, doesn't it? And I like to take it above. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? And we're gonna take the darker green, and we're gonna do a little doo We're gonna blend it in. Give it depth and dimension. Then we're gonna try and match it on this side, okay? Uh, maybe that, maybe that's it. Maybe that's it, bitch. So now to do the hairs, I like think I'll take um, this brush and I know, so hygienic. I'll take a bit of this, green, the dark green, like, there we go. Oh wow, those are uneven, Ugh. but like, subtle look, subtle look, lovely. We're looking lovely today, it's, we're 30 minutes in. And we're just here. I am scared for my life. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh dear. So let's jump back into it. So now that the brows are done, they're relatively natural, it's time to move on to eyeshadow. So I'm going to close the James Charles palette and I'm going to pick up the Venus palette. And I wanted to do a mustardy look. And I forgot to set my eye under eyebrows. Wow. Okay. Wow. Going back to the James Charles palette, get the white, and set that bit. And we move on to. The eyeshadow. So I'm gonna start off with this brush, which is a Sonia Kashuk brush from Target. And I will dip into mustard and I will go very high up. I don't know why I might go in so heavy handed. Okay, I'm gonna lightly blend up. Okay, now that's done. 
we're gonna dip into jam. And we're gonna go a little bit below in the like in the actual crease of the eye for once. Wow. Wow, that's a beautiful color. I like that. And then the fun begins. We are gonna take this brush. It is thinnish and flattish. It is called, it's like an accent shadow brush. I don't know. And this is where the fun is going. This is where we're going to map out the cat eye. And I'm going to dip into mud. So, load it up. And this requires immense concentration. So, I'm going to do this bit off camera. And on off camera, I'm going to do the make the map out the crease shape. And I'm going to fill in the crease with Krylon White. So I will see you then. So I am back. I have completed the very uneven cat eye and we are going to set it with a cool fun shade from this palette. So what I'm thinking is that we do this one. This or this one. Maybe let's do a combination of both. Let's do the fly in the inner corner, which is the lighter one, and then pigeon out of the rest of it. Okay, we have two dramatically different cat eyes going on. And now it's time to clean the brush and add fly on the inner corner. Okay. Ooh, look at that. That just immediately gives dimension to the look. It looks much better in the mirror, I promise. It will look better in pictures as well. Now, for these looks, I don't do actual eyeliner. I do eyeshadow as liner. So I'm going to take a bit of boot, which is the black shade. I look at my brush, get in, delicious, and I will carefully outline it in black. I'm going to do this off camera, see you later. Okay, as you can see, I have lined my eyes in eyeshadow. Now we're going to do the underlashes, like the underline. So we're going to start with a bit of white under the lash. Okay, now that's done. We are going to set it with some white, of course. We gotta. Okay, that looks pretty cool. Now we're going to take this brush, this little brush hand. We're going to outline using the boot, and we're going to use. No, actually, we're going to use all sorts of colors and buff it out. I may have gone too heavy on the other eye. They look very anime at this moment in time, so maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. We are nearing the end of the look. Now we are going to add mascara, mascara, and lashes, both upper and bottom. Tops and bottoms. Mm -hmm. Now for the lashes, we are going to use, these are homemade drag lashes. If you want to know how I make my lashes, you can like DM me or something, I, I don't know. <laughs> or like comment it. These are my lashes. They look very, they're covered in glitter from previous looks. These are what they look like. These are my bottom lashes when I want to do something fun. These, here they are. Okay, cool. You saw them, you saw them. Okay. I use my duo lash glue. Lash time, lash time, lash time. Yes, I will use my music degree. Yes, I'm using my music degree. I'm gonna plonk that right there on the outer corner, slightly leaning up. And we push and we hold. For some reason, my right lash always holds better than my left and it always goes where I want it. Okay, so now we move on to the bottom lashes. So, now that that's done. Okay, now we can do lips. Now, for this shit, I don't know what I'm gonna do for lip liner. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the same brush and I'm gonna select the color. Mm, should I, should I do this? Yeah, I'm gonna do this color. I'm sorry in advance. We're gonna be using Jeffree Sludge for this in the color, the shade Unicorn Blood I got for my birthday a couple years ago. So. We're gonna take the mud and do a little lip line. Uh, I don't have a lip liner bit. See, look at that. Isn't that stunning? Oh my lord. I'm gonna take this color and we're gonna fill it in. That is 
Ooh, that looks so good. Some of I like do this. Like, I have to be like, hurt to look decent. Like, ooh. And last, but certainly, certainly not least, we gotta do the beauty marks. The beauty marks I started doing when I was many, many moments ago. And it was like my thing. It's one here, 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 here. That's it. It's horrible. A little bit too much, but like, it works. And highlighter. So, I'm just gonna do a little, little, little bit. We're just gonna do a spritz, spritz the brush, spritz that. Okay, we're gonna use this color right here. I'm gonna do a bit of that. Well, I use Milani it's set and fix and like a for very fresh from Amazon. I'm gonna do that and tap, 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 tap. Ooh, shit, man. Shit my boot. Shit my fucking boot, bitch. Keep it the bow. Chin. And that is what we call drag in this house, bitch. So, this is my look. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to do some hair. So we're gonna take this off very carefully. To reveal beautiful natural hair sprouting from my scalp. Okay, bitch. Okay. This is very cool hair, I love it. So beautiful. <gasps> so beautiful. <gasps> okay, and then we're going to do. I don't think this hair needs anything. I just think it's good like this. A little zhuzh here. Here, zhuzh on. And now we're going to do the headpiece. This is a headpiece that I made. Let's pray that it fits. Look oh, cool. Oh, I love that so much. Oh my lord. Okay. So, wig, headdress. And last but not least, the nails. Now the nails I painted myself, and I'm going to attach them briefly with E6L. So I'll do that off camera. Okay, everybody, this is the final look. I look absolutely fucking amazing. I love this. This wig is everything. These nails match the wig, and they're super long, and they fit my fingers, and the lipstick, and the... It's gonna get better though because I have the set ready and so let's go take the pictures and I'll show you the pictures and then yeah, we'll wrap it up. Yeah, you know? Okay.